What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku. Today I'm with Jocelyn. She's knocked out right now. And I'm also with Crispy Fish here. What's up guys? And, yeah, and uh, we are on his boat and we're doing some salmon fishing today. First time salmon fishing this season for both of us and we're looking to catch some. Uh, Chris here, he's really good with salmon. If you've never seen his videos, Crispy Fish, check him out. He caught, how many salmon did you catch last uh, year? Close to 50, I close would Close to 50 salmon last year. Yeah, I watched a lot of those videos and damn, I only caught four. <laughs> so I was jealous every time. Anyways, I'm with the man, so we're gonna catch one today. I'm confident in that. And Jocelyn's ever caught a salmon, so we're gonna get her on one. She gets first fish. All right, guys, let's get this started. Beautiful ride out. Did you guys see that sunrise? Ooh, that drone shot was whew, money. <laughs> and check out Chris's boat. It's freaking nice, man. We got so much space in here. So much space for activities out here on the deck, too. Oh my god. It's a nice boat. Let's get some salmon. We got the rods lined up. Three rods, one per person. Come on, fish. We just need somebody to pop off. We have FBR with anchovy on that one. We got a crippled anchovy on that one. And we have a uh, watermelon apex on that one. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, that was. <laughs> it, I thought it was gonna pop. <laughs> Be ready, okay? Look at the rods. Oh, Chris, you just went off. Fish. Fish on. Real, sir. Real, sir. Real. Got bit. There you go. What was that? Five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, not even five minutes, man. I barely just finished getting my stuff set up. Why don't you like Jocelyn pay attention? Watch the balls. <laughs> when I felt it, it didn't feel very good. Steady pull down, the pops. The salmon's more like whack, whack, whack. There's a boat that just they had one, they lost it right at the boat. So it's a good sign. So just that first bite right in the beginning, uh, no fish yet, otherwise no other bites. Uh, we did see a boat lose a fish, uh, that was a nice one too, and it was right next to us. So we'll see what happens. Uh, still early. Really slow bite looks like. Even that party boat with about 20 people, they haven't even gotten one. So, very slow today. Probably the last two weeks, the bite's been hot. But now, it seems like this week has completely slowed down. Um, that's what we heard before we came on this trip, and, and that's what it, we are experiencing right now. Uh, what do you guys think? They might have moved up north, but it's not open up north yet past uh, Pescadero, so we can't fish in Half Moon Bay yet, or any of those areas that we normally fish, not until sometime in June, I believe. June 26th, it's gonna open up up there. Plenty of time left. Oh, 9.30? Oh yeah, plenty of time left still. So, we just need one, we just need one. Any luck yet? Look at that boat. We had a bite, but that's it. Oh, sweet artwork. It was 88. Where are you guys fishing up higher? 
Damn, that's a cool boat. Keep it up, keep that rod tip up. Yep. Slowing down a little bit. Here we go. All you have to do is keep that pressure. There we go, there we go. Keep going. Keep, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do I keep reeling? Yeah, yeah. keep reeling. Oh no, there's oh yeah, that's your that's yours. Stop reeling unless you feel We're gonna land him on this side, okay? Okay. Alright, Jocelyn's on her first salmon. Oh, I see him. Oh, I think he's off. Uh, no, no, he'll stay on. You're good. Oh, he's shaking. It's all right. Going. Going. Okay. Bring him to, to the left, to the left. Not too far. Keep going, keep going. Scoot back, scoot back. Keep going. Real Dawson, real, real, real. Yeah! 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 That's a keeper! That's a keeper. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh. Good yes. job, dude! Yeah! I'm so nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Woo! 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 Oh, my heart. I'm all shaky. Well, I'm all shaky <laughs> too. Pressure, I was like, oh, no. Yeah. I'm shaky <laughs> too. <laughs> Woo! That's a good one. Yeah. Nice. Woo! I literally just texted my family and told them to send me luck. <laughs> and they all just responded. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo! Shaky, huh? Yeah, it was a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of pressure. My legs are shaking now, too. I was... Uh, I was, was going uh, to tell you guys maybe you should do it. <laughs> no. You got it. You did a good job. All right, let's take him out. Let's, let's measure him. You want to hold him? Sure. Jocelyn with the first one. Amazing. Good job. All right, you gotta get a bigger one. So I, knew you, fatty salmon. I knew you wouldn't let us down. <laughs> there it is, so now we're bleeding it in there. How's it feel? Exciting. This <laughs> is my first one. First one, <laughs> yes. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh. That was deep. That was a... Uh, 111. 111, wow. 27. 27. Eight pounds. There you go. So we got that fish around 10:30, and now it is 12:30. Uh, Haven't had any bites since then. Uh, wind's picking up a bit. Um, I'm thinking we want to cook on the boat, but we might just go back first and then cook. We'll troll around for just a little bit longer. All right, guys. It's getting a bit windy out here, so we're actually gonna head in. Thank you, Chris. Of course, happy to be able to get you guys on one. Yeah. Tough fishing out here. Yeah, it I was. I think we, we did better than the, the average, but yeah. just one. Yeah, just I mean, one. We were asking party boats, everyone, any luck? Everyone's just giving thumbs down all day. Yeah, all day. So, so at least we got one. All right, let's go cook. Uh, we're gonna cook this. We were gonna cook on the boat actually, but it got so choppy out there and so windy. So now we're back here. I'm not gonna make anything too crazy. We're just gonna make some seared salmon and then I'm gonna probably break it up and then put it into an onigiri. Onigiri, you know, like those rice balls. So we're just gonna make some of those and have them as like little little reward snacks. And then afterwards, uh, in the next video, we're gonna also 
make sushi, but this time Jocelyn's gonna make sushi. You guys remember last year when I caught that salmon and made uh, salmon sushi? We said next time when Jocelyn catches a salmon, she's gonna make the sushi. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that's what we're doing on the next episode. So make sure to tune into that. But for now, I'm gonna get some rice going and we're gonna just sear up the salmon and we'll make some onigiri, that's it. Let's get to it. If you guys didn't see the salmon video from last year, check it out, it was epic. It's right here, bump, bump, bump. I got clean rice, bit of water. Cut three portions. We're gonna make a nice crispy skin. We're gonna score this. Season this generously with salt, just salt. Gosh, it's so red. Season this side too. Two more minutes on this side, we'll flip it over. Three, four minutes, done. You can already see that it's coming up almost halfway there. Pretty much halfway, yeah. I'm gonna flip this guy. Little, little less than halfway on that thicker side. So we'll keep it on there. Just another minute. Okay, let's flip. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Nice and crispy. Perfect, perfect. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat off. Let the residual heat do, the, do its thing for 30 more seconds. I'm gonna pull it off. Then I'll just put my rice in this mixing bowl. Chris, I saw in your, uh, when you did a video with Matt, you said you don't eat the skin of the salmon. That's true. You never eat it? No. I think that's crazy. The skin is the best part. It's one of the best parts. It has the most fat content. It has the crunch, it has the crisp. It has the saltiness. It's delicious. It's the best part. You gotta try it, all right? Yeah, go for it. Just dig in and start eating it? Yeah. All right. Feel, feel free. But the skin's fried, so it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the crispy skin yeah. gives it so much more flavor, extra texture, extra oiliness. I guess when I like barbecue it, it burns sometimes. Mm -hmm. Or when I, I broil it, it you know, sticks to the pan. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm just not usually like thinking about the skin, so I don't yeah. take care of it when I'm cooking the fish. Mm. Mm. Perfect saltiness. Yeah. Oh. And I was just reading too that these fish were. Uh, they're all eating krill. So that bait we saw up there. Oh yeah, that krill. that's krill, huh? Oh my gosh, this is so good. You gotta try some. Mm. Oily. Oily, huh? That was really good. Yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna make uh, some onigiri with the rest of this. Let me show you guys how to make some onigiri. Super easy. Okay, we got a bowl of rice here. We got some water here, and we have some salt. Also, this is called furikake. There's a bunch of different types. Furikake just make basically like rice seasoning. And this one is pickled plum flavor, pickled plum and shiso. Pickled plums right here as well. I don't know how you are with, uh, hmm, different flavors. I will eat with Non-Western flavor. This Mickey, is a very- Make it as crazy as you can. I'm just gonna break it apart, all right? Break it apart. There you go. Is this how it's made at home, but then in the stores, it's just all- No, you can make it either way too. I just like it this way, because you get some in every bite. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? The umeboshi will put in the middle. Yeah, that's what annoys me about the onigiri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you make onigiri like this, it's just, you just get some in every bite, so it's, uh, I think it's better. Hey, if you guys want a recommendation on seaweed, I would say this is one of the best ones that you can find sometimes. Just look for this pink package. Um, they have different uh, ratings or whatever, red or gold or stuff but all of them are good. It has a good crisp. So now we have all the ingredients laid out. The first step is gonna be dip our hands in the water, then dip that hand in some salt. Rub it all around, grab the rice. Also gonna put some uh, umeboshi in there too. Pack it into a nice triangle, wrap it in the seaweed. And then and you can tuck in the sides a bit. All right, Chris, here. Take this first one. No need to wait. The seaweed, it's gotta stay crispy. All right, go for it, try it. Let me know what you think. I'm really curious what he thinks about the umeboshi. Cause probably never had it. Never had it, it's really good. How's the rice? Everything's amazing. Good? Oh yeah. Salmon, you know that's good? Yep. Uh, get to that umeboshi. In the middle, there's a surprise for you. Well, we've been telling you about it, so it's not a surprise, but <laughs> a little sour. You'll get a little sour kind of uh, flavor. Yeah, really good. I mean, I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. It's, uh, sour in the middle. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, and we'll just hand this off to Jocelyn. So what do you call this again? Onigiri. All right, let me try so good. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 that my <made> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you caught your first salmon. Yeah. You did it. I knew you would though. When everybody else is failing, we got lucky because we had Jocelyn. <laughs> she brings the luck. Mm. She brings the good luck. You want to grab that seaweed for me? Just um, hold it out and watch how, uh, as long as your, your hands are dry, so it's gonna stay crispy. I'm happy there was enough for me to get seconds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You deserved it. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching another episode. Really appreciate it. We got it done today, thanks to Jocelyn. I'll always, always getting it done. All right, guys, make sure to check out Crispy Fish. I'll leave a link in the description for his channel got a great fishing channel here in the bay area he's catching a bunch of stuff you know he's always catching so check him out thank you guys for watching see you next time peace congratulations <laughs> yeah congrats you did it you freaking did it i knew you would back to back <laughs> yeah